In this video, I'm going to do example number seven based on the property called converse of midpoint, which says that in a triangle, if a line is drawn through the midpoint, let's say P being the midpoint of AB, and if this line is drawn such that it is parallel to other line, right? We should know that this line is drawn parallel to the other side. So say this is uh, PR is parallel to BC. Therefore, by using this property, I can say R will be the midpoint of AC. Or in short, we can say that AR is equal to AC. That's what the converse of midpoint. Let's see how we are going to use this converse of midpoint in proving this question. We can see that we are given three parallel lines, right? We are given three parallel lines. That is uh, L, M, N are three parallel lines. This is parallel to this, is parallel to this. Further, it says that the transversal PQ, P, sorry, the transversal P makes an equal intercept on the, uh, makes equal intercept. They get cut into equal intercept. By that, it, it means to say that we have AB is equal to BC. And the two proof part is that we have to prove DE is equal to EF. This is what the question says. So, once again, you can see the given part. Here, these three lines are parallel, and we'll say that LMN, LMN cuts off equal intercepts AB and BC on P. And in the two proof part, we have to prove that they cut equal intercepts on the Q as well. That means, in turn, we have to prove D is equal to EF. So, this is what the given and two proof part. So, let's start with the uh, proving part and how to prove this question. For that, what you can, uh, as I told you, that we are going to apply midpoint theorem. So let's consider a triangle. As of now, I'm considering this triangle. So in this triangle, that is, this is in triangle A, B, F. You can see that uh, B is the midpoint, right? We have B is the midpoint of A, C, and this BG, right, we have this BG line parallel to CF. Now, why I'm writing this BG parallel to CF? Because M is parallel to N, right? We have M as parts of parallel lines are parallel. So we can say, therefore, by applying this converse of midpoint, right, we are applying this property called converse of midpoint, we can say that G is the midpoint. G is the midpoint of AF. That's what the property says. Line drawn through the midpoint of one side parallel to the other side bisects the third side. Now, after that, we will consider the another triangle. Let's say I consider another triangle here. This time I'll be considering this triangle that is ADF. Now, so we'll continue to write same thing in triangle ADF. We have a G is the midpoint. G is the midpoint of AF. That's proved above, right? This is what we have already proved. And further, we can write this line GE is parallel to AD. Now, check again. We are writing GE parallel to AD. This is because the line L and M are parallel. As you can see, this is parallel to this. So their parts is always parallel. So from this, by applying this converse of midpoint theorem, we can say that E is the midpoint of df so this is what we have to prove e is the midpoint of df or we can further add that de is equal to ef so this much we have to write in the proof part and that's what we proved